Hi everyone, I'm Liv, I'm user experience designer on the Burp Scanner development team and today I'm here to talk a little bit about the changes that we've made to the dashboard as well as some improvements and features that we've added to. So I'll jump into a project file. The first and most important thing to know is that we've moved the event log and all issues into a bottom drawer. For the event log this gives you more space to view the event details but the bottom drawer is also global, so it can be accessed from anywhere in Burp. And this meant if you wanted to check any event log items or new issues, you can open it from wherever you are rather than having to go back to the dashboard. For all new issues, you can now delete single and multiple issues. And additionally, and this has been in since November, but we've added the ability to filter by B-check, scan and extension generated issues to make it easier to find what you're looking for. If any events happen or any issues are found whilst the bottom drawer is closed, you'll get notification dots based on the severity of the issue. Jumping into the main view of the dashboard now, and we've moved tasks into a menu on the left-hand side of the screen. In the left-hand panel, you'll see any live tasks, scans, or intruder tasks. From here, you can see the status of your task, and you can also reorder and rename your tasks as well. You can also resize the side panel to make it suit your workspace. Moving into the detail of the task cards, this has largely stayed the same as when you could pop them out. However, we've added a task summary. For anything with an audit, you'll see a sum, um, on the summary view, the most serious vulnerabilities ranked by severity. And for crawl specific tasks, we've displayed what's been found and added to the sitemap. On the right hand side of any task, you'll see a task configuration in more detail and any progress when a task is running. And finally, in the bottom right hand corner, we've added a task log. For when a task is running, this will give a bit more detail as to what the scanner is up to when it is running. We're really hoping the changes to the dashboard will improve your workflow. So we'd love to hear if you have any thoughts or feedback. Thanks.